Steve, welcome back to Welford Road. You must have played here about 200 times, but what was your first introduction to life at Welford Road? Uh, from a spectating point of view, we used to get a Leicester School's handbook for one and six, and you got a free season ticket for that. Uh, so as an 11-year-old, you should jump on a couple of buses and come down and watch the, the Tigers, Johnny Allen and Peter, well, we say, we say Peter Wheel, before Peter Wheel this time, more like Peter Tom's time. Um, and we used to come down and, and watch the guys, and it used to be a fantastic way of people just coming into the sport to, to see some people playing it at a good level. But one of my earlier memories is back in 69 when the uh, Springboks came to Leicester on a tour. One of the main things that stuck in my mind then was the old change rooms used to run out through a tunnel. And I thought, I'd, one day I'd love to do that. I'd love to run out of that tunnel. When I returned as a 16, 17 year old, the bank had gone. There was a car park and you had a <laughs> concrete strip to run out onto the pitch. So. Not quite as romantic. No, no, no. So uh, all this wonderful thought thinking, oh, with the starting the youth team and I'm going to run out that tunnel, turn up, gone. In the years since, there's always been that Leicester core to whatever the team is doing on the pitch, there's always been a good core of Leicester. Oh, guys. it's fantastic, yeah. You still look out there, the Crofties and Matt Smith and the Young Brothers uh, and, and people like that, you know, you, you just think, yeah, that, they've still got the club at heart. They, they've looked from the terraces with the fathers, a lot of those guys anyway, and, and seen the ethos and, and listen to the crowd and thought, I want to be part of that, and then had the opportunity to come to the youth team. You've seen, you'll have seen the development of the of the game through the amateur era into the professional era, but also the um, development of of the stadium. Twenty five thousand. You would have fancied running down that tunnel every other week to twenty five thousand. Uh, yeah, even now when I come to watch, I get a buzz. You know, you 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 know what those guys are feeling coming out, and right what they say to play in front of your home crowd was great when there was two or three thousand. I can only imagine what the feeling is now, knowing that the place is packed. Were you aware of a Welford Road factor with the opposition players when you when you played here? Yeah, they hated coming here. <laughs> they did. Uh, it, Tigers were, we went through the great times towards the end of the 70s, through the 80s, and then obviously the guys came in and took the professional era and, and went even further on into Europe and things. But people wanted to beat the Tigers. We were one of the scouts to get. If, if nobody else beat the Tigers. So we were, we were playing a side that was playing above themselves yeah. week after week. So when we came to that great cup uh, sequence with five finals in six years or whatever it was, we just upped our game from the level that they were aspiring to. Uh, and that's why we were so successful, because people still wanted to beat us even in them days. And like I say, Welford Road, they didn't make, not many went away uh, from here with a win. Just Through the Past hours. Players Association and the Drog Lights, do you keep in touch with those cup final boys still? Yeah, we, we had a we have a ball every year and I can't remember, a few years ago now we had a 25 years celebration. It, it's the great thing about rugby is once you're back with your mates, you're 17, 18 at the end, it doesn't matter how old you are and, and what generation you played. That's the great thing. We have guys in the 70s, some of them actually sneaked into the 80s now. Because they've put the shirt on, you know how they feel, they know how you feel. Uh, and it's just that wonderful uh, transition across the age groups.